Welcome to Vehicle Design 150, Introduction to Drivetrains. In this class, you'll learn how to build a basic but fast two-wheel drive vehicle. Two-wheel drive means that only one pair of wheels is driven by the motor. The other pair of wheels rolls along freely. Most vehicles on the road today are two-wheel drive. This particular vehicle that we are building also has a rear-mounted motor. That means that the motor is behind, or mostly behind, the rear axle. In most cars made today, the engine is in the front. But our rear engine car is more like a Porsche or a Volkswagen Beetle with the engine in the back. On our car, the motor power gets transferred to the wheels through gears. The motor is directly connected to one gear, which drives a second gear fixed to the axle shared by the wheels. Notice how the two gears turn in opposite directions, and that the motor is turning backwards to make the car go forwards. You can change the direction the wheels spin by switching between the motor's clockwise and counterclockwise inputs. When you turn the control knob, you are controlling the voltage sent to the motor. Assuming a constant load on the motor, that means that turning the control knob up also increases the motor's power output. You can use that power for speed by gearing your car up, or you can use that motor power for more torque by gearing your car down for slow speed and strength. And that's two-wheel drive. Now here's some challenges to test your vehicle. Challenge one. What's the steepest hill you can climb with your two-wheel drive vehicle? Challenge two, how fast can you cover a 10-foot drag strip? Use a ruler to measure the drag strip and a stopwatch to time yourself. Get the complete kit at shop.myadams.com. Customize with your own parts and show us what you build.